Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Falcon's Hunting Lodge Falcon's Hunting Lodge is a sanctuary in the heart of Neverwinter Wood. This location is not connected to any quest, but the characters might come here while undertaking quests or exploring the forest. Location Overview Falcon the Hunter maintains this hunting lodge to cater to nobles from Neverwinter. He offers his service as a guide to those nobles, most of whom wouldn't last long in the forest without his protection and survival skills. Falcon abhors city life, preferring a rustic existence and simple pleasures. His lodge has all the creature comforts he requires, though he never turns down a good bottle of wine, or even a bad one from a visitor. Falcon has two retainers, an elderly world-weary cook named Corwin, and a mute 12-year-old stable hand named Pell. Both are non-combatants. In addition to the main house, the hunting lodge grounds includes a guest house for visitors, a conjoined stable house and smithy, an outhouse, and pens to hold Falcon's livestock. Accustomed to the long lonely winters, Falcon keeps a season's worth of provisions in his pantry at all times, supplementing those stores with fresh game. He also has begun hunting orcs and mounting their heads on his trophy wall. Corwin has advised Falcon not to do this for fear of retaliation, but Falcon has a long history of killing orcs and can't abide them as neighbours. Visitors are free to stay in the guest house and dine with Falcon at no charge. For discriminating guests, Falcon offers a comfortable private room in the main lodge, area F12, for 10 gold pieces a night. Arrival The following description assumes that the characters approach the lodge from the west side of the river. A thin fog surrounds a fortified compound, standing in a clearing on the east side of a narrow river. A ten-foot-high log palisade surrounds the compound, whose main building is a two-story stone and wood affair with a high-pitched roof, gables, window shutters, and a stone chimney. Attached to the main building is a blocky tower of grey stone, its high roof lined with battlements. Other structures include a two-story stable house and a guest house whose flat roof is enclosed by iron railings. A stone bridge spans the river, ending before an oaken door set into the gatehouse's outer wall. Mounted next to the door is a bell with a short rope hanging from its clapper. If the characters announce their arrival by ringing the bell or by yelling over the walls, Corwin makes his way over to assess them from the gatehouse slides back the heavy wooden bar securing the outside door and lets them in. If the characters have horses or pack animals, Corwin tells Pell to look after them while he shows the characters to the guest house in area F3 to store their gear. He then leads them to the dining and trophy hall, area F11, before fetching Falcon, who is usually in his quarters at area F13. Role-playing Falcon Falcon the Hunter wears a fur-lined cloak over his studded leather armor. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall and has black hair and broad shoulders. His eyes are blue, cold and sharp as ice. He sports a neatly trimmed beard. Falcon moves with the casual confidence of one who fears nothing, and he greets every concern with a nonplussed indifference. He loves good wine and treats other people as he would like to be treated fairly and with patience. Falcon's real name is Gustav Stellern, but he has long since abandoned it. His hunting skills have earned him the name he now bears. Given the chance, he shares the following useful information with the characters. I've seen more orcs in the woods of late, ugly brutes. The orcs appear to be in league with evil half-orcs that dwell southeast of here. These half-orcs are often seen in the company of little stick creatures known to creep about these woods. All in all, a nasty lot. The half-orcs dwell in a ruined stone manse overgrown with vines, roughly ten miles from here. Tales say that the manse was built by a scholar who studied the elven ruins scattered throughout these woods. Woodland Manse Quest if the characters are eligible to undertake the Woodland Mance quest, Falcon offers a pair of boots of elven kind as a reward for completing it. 
Give the players the Boots of Elvenkind card once the boots are acquired, or they can reference them in the magic items listing. Falcon politely declines any offer to join the characters on a quest, stating that he must remain at the Lodge in case nobles from Neverwinter come looking for his services. Lodge Features The map of Falcon's Hunting Lodge shows the upper levels and main levels of the buildings, as well as the main level's two courtyards, one to the north and one to the south. Other features are summarized here. Animal Pens the pens extend east from the south yard and are divided by wooden fences. They hold two dozen chickens and a rooster, six pigs and four goats. The animals are well treated and not dangerous. Ceilings Interior ceilings are nine feet high and flat. Doors Doors are made from sturdy oak fitted with iron handles and hinges. Exterior doors are barred from the inside. A creature can use an action to force open a barred door with a successful DC-25 strength athletics check. Each door is a medium object with an armor class of 15, 30 hit points, and immunity to poison and psychic damage. Light At sundown, Corwin lights oil lanterns that hang from hooks on the walls in all interior locations. Palisade The log palisade is 10 feet high and designed to keep wild forest animals at bay, not hold off armies. A character can scale a palisade wall with a successful DC-15 strength athletics check. Lodge Locations The following locations are key to the map of Falcon's Hunting Lodge. Area F1 Stone Bridge The five-foot wide stone bridge that spans the river is sturdy and newly built. Area F2 Gatehouse. A wooden ladder climbs to a trap door in the ceiling that grants access to the gatehouse's 12-foot-high rooftop. A flagpole in the northeast corner of the roof sports a black banner with a silver falcon insignia. Area F3. Guesthouse. The guesthouse has a barn-like quality. A carpet of straw covers the dirt floor. Arranged about the room are nine cots that come with soft pillows and thick wool blankets. Area F4 Stables Falcon's riding horse, a reliable grey stallion named Bartorius, is usually lodged in the westernmost stall. The other stalls are empty. Area F5 Storage Riding gear is kept here, along with food for the animals. Area F6 Smithy The smithy is mostly used to forge horseshoes but guests can also use it to repair weapons and armor. Area F7, Pell's Bedroom. The stable hand's bedroom is plainly furnished. Area F8, Corwin's Bedroom. Corwin likes to keep a fire always burning in the fireplace of his modestly outfitted bedroom. Area F9, Kitchen. Originally, Falcon's Lodge consisted entirely of this stone building and the outhouse north of it. When the lodge grew in size, this building became the kitchen. Area F10 Pantry Non-perishable foodstuffs and ale casks are stored here. Area F11 Dining Hall and Trophy Hall A second floor trophy gallery opens up above an oak dining table surrounded by tall back chairs on the main floor. Two iron chandeliers hang from the high rafters. Area F12, Deluxe Guest Bedroom. For 10 gold pieces a night, wealthy guests can enjoy the comforts of this luxurious bedchamber, including a wash basin, a box of pipeweed, and a down-stuffed mattress. Area F13, Falcon's Bedroom. Falcon's Bedroom is cozy, warm, but untidy. Area F14, Tower Basement. This dirt-floored room is used for cold storage. Area F15 Tower Guard Post Arrow slits line the walls of this empty guard post. Area F16 Tower Roof This 30-foot high roof offers an unobstructed view of the clearing around the lodge and the nearby woods.